Hello. I know it's been a while since I did the last episode, but last time I tried to get you guys an episode of all the traffic lights on on uh, Milwaukee Road, but technology was being annoying that day. So we're going to keep it quick and simple. And today we'll be doing the traffic lights of Gateway Boulevard. Now I'm only doing only all of them because there's really only realistically only three on Gateway Boulevard with two of the, one of those being a traffic light for a facility. Without further ado, let's get started. Gateway Boulevard is a little road that basically goes on the far east side of the city. It starts in Illinois at the Illinois border and then comes up, merges with Cranston, Cranston and then goes all the way down. And with the new 2021 uh, project with the I-90, 3990 reconstruction, it now comes with Milwaukee Road. Before then, it used to just turn and then turn into Hart Road. But now it converge, now it's a two-way stop and converges with Hart, with uh, Milwaukee Road. But here's one of the traffic lights. Basically, your normal three-way traffic light, you have the overhead signal. Overhead for a uh, horizontal signal with the signal on the side. You have the uh, regular traffic light on the side of the road facing this way south. You have the left turn sitting in the middle of the traffic light with the left turn signal on the bottom with the left turn signal sitting right here. For this side, for this side, you also have the regular three dotted uh, straight signals with the uh, horizontal signal sitting in the middle. If we go up to here, and you, I don't care if you really see that much of that one. If you go up to here, this side has a double turn lane to which people can be able to turn on to the far, farthest left lane or the right lane. There's no arrow with these traffic lights. This will be critical later on. Um, but then you have what this looks like right here. Moving on to 2011, no significant changes, just a simple same to, uh, traffic light. Over there, you can get an old glimpse of I-90 with the old two lanes. As much as I love the new interchange and new inter, uh, highway with the three lanes, this one's always nostalgic to me. But it's a lot better because instead of you taking an hour to get to Madison, it's like 30 minutes now. <laughs> All right. Um, so in 2015, again, no significant changes. Uh, actually, I guess there is a significant change that will actually furthermore go on with 2022. So, in, uh, 2015, they started building this, uh, warehouse. But they started building a lot of, like, warehouses around this area and a significant one over here that we'll go to in a second. You'll see in a second. But right here, let me make sure my microphone's on. Okay. All right. I always want to check that when I don't use my mic for a while. But, yeah. Then sooner or later, they'll add another traffic light facing this way. And then when the building was done, which we'll, we will go into 2022. Now we have a major change. So now we have a uh, horizontal signal facing this facing uh, north. I'm pretty sure that's going north. No, this is facing east, excuse me. And then we have that one going on. So now we have the flashing yellow intersect traffic lights replacing the old uh, five dotted left turn signals. So now we have the flashing yellows with the now straight overhead signal. They still kept the old uh, signal on the right side of the street. There is new crosswalk signals. There were crosswalk signals before too, but these are the new ones with the uh, timer on the side so people who are like walking on gateway boulevard will have a crosswalk you see there's one there what 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 did i do no what did i no no what, what did i do there we go all right <laughs> let's go this way uh, actually look we'll keep going this way because this is this is where it gets juicier so with the upgrade of the street they replaced these signals with arrow signals so now when the light turns green they have the arrows now there is no don't turn right on the left lane sig uh, sign here due to the traffic. There isn't that much traffic up here, so they don't mind if you turn right that way. Uh, I could be wrong. Usually in most states, they don't, they forbid you for not, or from turning onto this lane from there. But uh, I don't think they have a problem with that due to the fact that the signals are 
usually not that uh or the road is not that packed but that's basically gateway in cranston let's go move on down the road we'll go to 2007 uh, another thing they uh you'll see differently is uh obviously they don't have the lamps that you're going to see so we're going to go to this intersection right here so this intersection was uh before a four-way stop um i don't know why they made this a four-way stop because even in 2023 with a traffic light spoiler alert there is no traffic on this road so i don't know why they made it a four-way stop it's not like there's gonna be a shit ton of traffic coming here but they did so um we're going to 2011 again no major change here uh then we go into 2015 again no major change here still a four-way stop and then we go into actually before that it was 2018 when they started this right here so here's 2018 um they added the traffic light here uh i'm pretty sure they did this because i-90 at the time was getting uh constructed so just in case they have all like this traffic when like did, for example detours come up they constructed a traffic light here so there was a traffic light that I put up they put a flashing yellow here we have the uh typical wisconsin overhead uh vertical signals on the um side with the right um uh, straight signal on the side and then we had the uh flashing yellow right here with the signal right here with one on the side that's saying gateway boulevard then we had the uh, collie sign right there because this is collie road right here with the same setup on this side so then we go into 28 so again there's really no difference here but then we go into 2022 which honestly i'll just show you regardless because that's when they have the uh picture anyways so we're gonna go this way if it lets me i don't think it'll let me there we go <laughs> so then we get this traffic light now I'm sure you recognize this building, my fellow Midwesterns, or if you had one of these buildings, yeah. So in 2020, I say 20, I think, yeah, 2021, um, the city of Bullet constructed a Amazon. So now we have an Amazon. So now for the trucks, pulling into the back of Amazon, dropping off their loads, they put a traffic light here. So we have a flashing yellow intersection. It's not a one with the four dotted this though to oh three yellow yield ones because again no one really turns this way just the trucks uh no one can really go back here other than the trucks so it makes sense why you would just put a flashing yellow there and then for some reason they have a flashing yellow on this side for abandoned street that's not going there even in 2022 there's really no there's nobody that goes there so it's like it's just a weird spot but other than that that's really it um so yeah, um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and see you later.